Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a delicious Al Capone roast, also known as Al Capone roast. Here are the ingredients you'll need for this recipe. Chuck roast, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, dried oregano, dried basil, dried thyme, oil, red wine, beef broth, balsamic vinegar, honey, Worcestershire sauce, minced garlic, bay leaves, fresh rosemary, flour, butter. Let's get started. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, in a small bowl, mix together 1 tablespoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of black pepper, 1 tablespoon of garlic powder, 1 tablespoon of onion powder, 1 tablespoon of paprika, 1 teaspoon of dried oregano, 1 teaspoon of dried basil, and 1 teaspoon of dried thyme. Then, season your chuck roast generously with the spice mixture, pressing the spices into the meat. In a large Dutch oven or oven safe pot, heat some oil over medium high heat. Sear the meat on both sides until browned, about 5 minutes per side. Once the meat is browned, Remove it from the Dutch oven and set it aside. Next, add one cup of red wine to the Dutch oven and scrape the bottom to deglaze any brown bits. Add two cups of beef broth, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of honey, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of minced garlic, two bay leaves, and a few sprigs of fresh rosemary. Stir everything together to combine. Add the chuck roast back to the Dutch oven, spooning some of the liquid over the top. Cover the Dutch oven with a lid and bake in the preheated oven for 3 to 4 hours, or until the meat is tender and shreds easily with a fork. Once the meat is ready, remove it from the Dutch oven and set it aside to rest. In a small bowl, Mix together 2 tablespoons of flour and 2 tablespoons of butter to make a paste. Strain the remaining liquid from the Dutch oven into a saucepan and bring it to a simmer. Whisk in the flour and butter paste, stirring constantly until the sauce thickens. Finally, serve your Al Capone roast with the sauce and enjoy. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more delicious recipes like this one.